Hello today's video we have the following content. Tang Yan's hilarious recollection, if she hadn't been dumped, how could she have fallen to marry Luo Jin? So funny. Comma today we are going to talk about Tang Yan's love story, which is even more ridiculous and funny than a TV series. Do you know? Tang Yan actually said that if that guy hadn't abandoned her, she might not have fallen to marry the now lukewarm Luo Jin. Oh my god, we have to dig up the story behind this. Back then, Tang Yan was a serious little girl from Shanghai. At the age of 18, she won the championship in the national model contest with her 1.68 meter long legs and sweet face. That's not all. The teachers at the Central Academy of Drama also set their sights on her and saw at a glance that she was a good seedling for acting. So, Tang Yan embarked on the road of acting in such a daze. In school, Tang Yan was a celebrity, and she had her own aura wherever she went. After taking on the job of Olympic baby, she became even more popular. At that time, she was carefree, straightforward and enthusiastic, and her heart was full of infinite longing for love. Which girl doesn't want to have a sweet love? Speaking of which, Tang Yan's first love was quite high profile, and the object was Gao Yangxiang, who was also very handsome. The two hit it off and quickly fell in love. At that time, they were recognized as a golden boy and a jade girl, as sweet as conjoined twins. Unfortunately, the good times did not last long. Gao Yangxiang's family was not very happy. They felt that although Tang Yan was also very good, she was still a little bit behind their family. Gao Yangxian was infatuated and insisted on being with Tang Yan. But Tang Yan was very career-oriented at that time and felt that getting married too early would restrict herself. Just like that, the two broke up. After the breakup, Tang Yan was so heartbroken that she cried all day long, as if she had lost her soul. I thought Tang Yan would have to wait for a while before she could fall in love again, but I didn't expect that she was actually a love warrior and soon invested in another relationship, this time with Qiuze. The two fell in love during the filming of the three daughters of the Xia family. They turned their fake acting into real love. Tang Yan was serious this time. She was very sincere to Qiuze, taking care of him in every aspect of life and work. But Qiuze was a little unpredictable. He was unwilling to make their relationship public and there were rumors from time to time. Although Tang Yan felt mixed emotions, she still chose to believe Qiuze. As a result, Qiuze said in a public occasion that they were just ordinary friends. Tang Yan was so heartbroken, it was he even more ridiculous than the TV series. After experiencing these two failed relationships, Tang Yan was completely awakened. She began to devote herself to her career and her acting skills became better and better. From the fierce and unruly concubine Ru in the golden marriage to the free-spirited female thief and the female thief of the golden thousand gold, Tang Yan completely got rid of the image of a good girl. At this time, Luo Jin appeared. The two met in 2011 because of the filming of Gone with the Wind. However, Tang Yan was dating Qiuze at that time, so she didn't think much about it. It was not until the filming of The Princess Wei Young in 2014 that the two really had a spark. At the beginning, both of them were quite cautious. After all, they had both been hurt in love, and no one wanted to fall again. But love is something that gets warmer and warmer, and the two were finally attracted to each other. Tang Yan liked Luo Jin's calm and restrained temperament, Luo Jin was also moved by Tang Yan's simplicity and kindness. At the beginning of the relationship, the two were quite low-key and did not plan to make it public. But netizens have sharp eyes and soon dug out clues about them. For example, the same shoes, photos of living together, etc. It was not until Tang Yan's birthday that Luo Jin officially made their relationship public. The moment he put the crown on Tang Yan was so sweet. Two years later, Tang Yan and Luo Jin entered the palace of marriage. The wedding was a dream. Tang Yan wore a white wedding dress and Luo Jin was handsome and tall. The moment they looked at each other affectionately, they were a perfect match made in heaven. After the marriage, Luo Jin also spoiled Tang Yan to the sky, and the two were as loving as if they had just fallen in love. Looking back now, Tang Yan also joked about herself and said, If he hadn't abandoned me, I wouldn't have married the mediocre Luo Jin. Haha. <laughs> Although this sounds a bit self-deprecating, anyone with a discerning eye can see that Tang Yan is extremely happy now. Dear melanating people, we have to learn Tang Yan's mentality. Love is something that comes and goes as it pleases. But as long as you are willing to wait and believe, one day, you will meet someone who is willing to spoil you to the sky. Just like Tang Yan and Luo Jin, although Luo Jin is now said to be lukewarm, the sweet and loving appearance of the two is more important than anything else. 
Okay, okay, that's all for today's gossip. See you next time. Remember to follow me, otherwise you'll miss out on any interesting gossip next time, haha. <laughs> next news. Facts have proved that Yang Mi and Tang Yan, both born after 1985, have already taken different paths. Recently, Yang Mi officially announced the publication of an academic paper, which aroused widespread doubts. As a film and television actor, she suddenly entered the academic field, which is puzzling. In sharp contrast, Tang Yan, who also came from a young actress born after 1985, has recently achieved undisputed success in the film and television industry. Yang Mi's paper was published in the extended version of a professional journal, not a mainstream academic journal. From the content of the paper, she mainly shared her experience in character creation in the play. But this was ridiculed by many netizens for the following reasons. First, the drama Harbin 1944 starring Yang Mi itself is controversial. Many viewers think that her acting skills are too exaggerated, and she has completely played the image of a crazy woman and lacks the layering of emotional lines. In particular, in a certain shot, her performance of dancing and talking at the same time was ridiculed by netizens as like a robot and a lucky cat. This also led to the poor reputation of the script itself. Secondly, someone checked Yang Mi's paper and found that its duplication rate was not low. It was questioned that it was a piece of work that was patchwork and lacked innovation. This makes people feel that she is just forcing her reputation instead of really thinking about and improving this role. In contrast, Tang Yan, who was also born in the 1980s, has been very successful recently. After Flower, her career has been rising all the way, and recently she officially announced that she will star in Yi Xu's work Single Woman. The drama is starred by the powerful actor Xiao Yaoding, and the theme of the plot is close to feminism, which has attracted many viewers' expectations. Not only that, Tang Yan will also guest star in the big drama The Beginning of Man, and still occupy an important position in front of a group of stars. The reason why Tang Yang can get such good resources and evaluations, in addition to the improvement of her acting skills, is also due to her professional ethics and pattern. She did not blindly pursue fame and popularity, but focused on choosing works that suit her and improving her acting skills and connotation. Even in guest appearances, she can win the praise of everyone. Compared with Yang Mi's situation, Tang Yan is undoubtedly more sober and professional. She did not force herself to save face for the sake of hype, but calmed down to do her job well. This also allowed her to gain more and more recognition and opportunities. Of course, we cannot completely deny Yang Mi's efforts. After all, she has been a child star since she was young and has been constantly exploring and trying. But in comparison, Tang Yan obviously knows how to gain a long-term foothold in the entertainment industry and gain more opportunities through concentration and self-cultivation. This also inspires us that in addition to pursuing temporary popularity and fame, we must also keep a clear mind and focus on things that can truly improve ourselves. Only in this way can we gain a firm foothold in this complex industry and achieve long-term success. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,